underneath here is another piece of Mazda hardware for the Sim World. If you didn't think the R5 and everything was enough, they've come out with something even more awesome to add to that collection. Another Sim wheel, their new FSR wheel. So this wheel is something I'm super excited about. So we're going to take that. As you can see, their new FSI formula wheel. Behind you is no one from Mazda Racing. So it is an incredible looking formula style wheel with a nice display and everything like that. So we're going to take a look and we're going to actually open this up. And we're going to take a look at the actual wheel. I'm super excited to take a look at this wheel. When I got this in, I was oh my god, I need to play with this because I've wanted a formula style wheel and for like GT racing and F1 and all that stuff. So we do have stickers like we do in most of our wheel sets so that we can change it all up. And of course right here we have the wheel and of course the signature Mazda bags. We're going to get this wheel out of here. Man, that's really stuck in there. They don't want this thing moving around, that's for sure. If I can get it popped out. I really do not want that wheel going anywhere. So we're going to set the wheel aside. So you can see the box is like really strong fabric. And of course we have the click uh, dampeners and things like that. So we're going to step this aside. And we're going to take a look at this beautiful piece of Mazda hardware. The FSR wheel is something, like I said, when I saw it, I could not wait to get it. So we're going to take a look at it. First looks at this wheel. Oh man, is this thing pretty. The carbon fiber with the leather, the screen and everything like that. Of course we have the actual quick release and we have, oh, some um, magnetic carbon fiber shifters and of course the the clutch the clutch pedals and it looks like we got a plug in for a display this one has the same t style connection that the uh, wheel from the r5 had so that is something incredibly cool this wheel is just insane looking this this wheel i can't even get over the fact of how cool this wheel looks right now it's definitely amazingly and oh, you got all these buttons s1 box drs you know you have s2 pit pit limiter you know trash control neutral and they're all like really good textile buttons and based off the picture it looks like these actually light up and they do appear like they could be lighting up We'll have to, once we get it on the rig, we'll be able to see. We have that really big display with the Mazda on the carbon fiber. We do have the shift lights like we do on all the other wheels, which is something I just touched that screen. Oops. And then we do have some thumb dials. Yep. Thumb dials that rotate. All they click in too. Same with the one on the other side for the diff. Yep. And that clicks. And then we have all these rotary dials. We have map with not just lines. They actually have... As you can see, I'm trying to get the glare off numbers. So you can fully set this up for mapping with actual numbers. We have trash control. We have ERS. We have ABS. We have turbo. And we just have all these metal. These are metal dials, too. This wheel is beautiful. We have some thumbsticks, which also go in. This wheel is incredibly beautiful and a very amazing piece of work. You know, got nice stitching and everything like that. This wheel, if you want a formula wheel, this is definitely, I can't get over how pretty the carbon fiber and this screen, once we get this plugged into the rig and that screen goes on, you can see the NRG like tag hanging there. So once we get this on and get this screen going, this thing is going to be incredible looking. This is by far the prettiest wheel I've seen and they came out with the GS wheel originally, which didn't have the screen. And this wheel now has this screen. Look at that thick carbon fiber. It's very nice quality, thick carbon fiber. A little bit of polymer down there, of course. But I just can't get over how amazing this thing feels. 
And it's like the perfect size and all these rotary dials and everything are just like physical clicks and all these buttons. If you can change the color of these buttons, that's going to be insane. So I can't wait. We need to get this thing uh, hooked up on the actual rig and get this thing turned on so we can actually see what this thing looks like. I'm super excited to get this going. So let's go get this thing on the rig and we're going to see what this actual you know fsr wheel looks like when it plugged in so once again another amazing piece of hardware can't thank mazda racing enough for sending this out as well as the r5 system and everything like that big thank you to mazda racing being a partner with me and the channel so let's get this thing on the rig and uh yeah see how this thing lights up all right so we have the mazda fsr wheel all set up we're gonna plug it in to our rig onto the r5 wheelbase and we got some tracking of lights, the Mazda symbol, and of course, now we have full display and buttons and everything. This wheel, oh, this thing is so nice feeling, and it feels even better on the chassis and on the rig. So we're going to switch over to the desktop cam and see what we got going on here. So we do have this, and what kind of options do we have? So we have a lot of different options with this this FSR wheel, we have shift lights, we have brightness of shift lights. I believe that's brightness of display, maybe? Oh no, that's just shift lights. So, ah, uh, here's dashboard settings, brightness, miles per hour, Fahrenheit. We have all different kinds of dashboards set up that we can change to. That is so nice. All these different dashboards that we can put on and use. They've got a lot of presets. So we're gonna go back to, I personally like personally like this one right now. So we're gonna set this one up right now, kilometers an hour. What is this, key combinations? Oh, so there's button, different combinations. All right, let's see, press both thumb numbs simultaneously. Button color, wait a minute. So if we, oh. Okay, so, oh, that is, so we can change the color of every single button on this wheel, and we can just make them whatever we want, color combinations, oh, that is, that is awesome, okay, not gonna lie, that is, that is pretty sweet. Now, if I push these, this is going to save it. Oh, it does. So now if we take the wheel off and we plug it back in, does it save those? Or is that something we have to do every single time? Nope, it saves it. That is awesome. So what do we got here? Let's see. Uh, right clutch pedal and toggle. Oh, you can just toggle straight through the displays. Oh, okay, that's even better. So this 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 wheel just keeps getting better and better. That is so sick. Okay, yeah, that is that's that's beyond. That is beyond awesome. So we should probably hop into a game. We're gonna go into a game and see how this thing feels in a game. So we're gonna get that switched up and we're gonna get into a game. And we're going to go uh, full send. What better game than in F1 2022? So we're going to go full send and just see what we can do. I don't think I have clutch set up. So definitely need to fine tune some wheel settings. First, testing with this wheel. This feels so amazing. That display, okay, we almost broke loose. That display, super cool. We can actually shut off a lot of the overlays. Ooh, I have not played an F1 game in a minute. Definitely need to get some settings, but the factory F1 
one formula settings do feel super nice. And not gonna lie, I'm super stoked to have this wheel in my arsenal of Mazda equipment. Because this wheel would also be great. We have PRS, we do. Those mechanical paddle shifters are feeling super nice. And not gonna lie, oh. Oh, that's gonna be a wall. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm having a blast with this wheel. Can't thank Mazda Racing enough. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. Mazda Racing enough for sending out this FSR wheel. Definitely gonna be doing a lot more F1 as well as GT racing because this wheel can be used in GT racing as well. Turn that card out a little bit. That's a little loud. <laughs> This wheel can be used in GT racing for like GT3. We totally missed that. And things like that. So we're going to be doing some racing and stuff. But I just can't get over how awesome this wheel looks and feels. If you guys want to pick up your own Mazda racing equipment. All the links will be in the description box below. You can go through the reference code for Evil Rabbit. When you go. If you want to go purchase yourself an R5 system or maybe this FSR wheel, or some of their other RS wheels, CS wheels, or the DS wheel. This wheel with the display is just such a beautiful piece of equipment, and I can't wait to use this more. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you're found in the description box below. I thought I could make that. I'm Evil Rabbit. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the track.